Hello plant people, how are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name's Ashley and I'm a soil scientist. I am in the middle of the bald-headed prairies here in Saskatchewan right now in my garden that is out at the farm and it is incredibly windy. So I'm hoping that the mic picks up the audio well and it's not just straight air noise. If it is, I will just do a voiceover for this. So if you guys are new around here, my name's Ashley and I'm a soil scientist. On this channel, I like to take that science and apply it to all things plants. And in today's video, we are in the garden and I want to give you guys the tools to assess your soil to increase your yields or help you in the garden. And one thing to look at is the soil profile and I outline this in my ebook, which you can download. I will leave a link for that down below. Essentially what I do is I go through step by step, helping you identify what kind of soil you're dealing with and the parent material for the soil you're dealing with, which is very important when it comes to understanding how to reclaim or remediate your soil according to what you're trying to grow or what the ultimate goal is. So in this video, we are going to be specifically digging a hole to look at the soil profile and try to characterize this soil. Now, as you can see, the patch of soil that I'm currently standing in is tilled soil. And that is because this is untouched land before it was simply a pasture and there's no such thing as growing a high yielding crop in grass. So we had to get rid of the weeds and this is the process that we went with to get rid of those. Now behind me is untouched prairie land. Actually it's an old pasture. So what I'll be doing is I will not be digging the soil profile in the rot rototilled area. I'll actually be digging the soil profile further back in the pasture section and the reason for this is because after we rototilled the soil it's really difficult to see see the soil profiles um, especially the different horizons it's nearly it's impossible so we have to go back to the native land just to check out what's over there so I will be backing up just a little bit to give you guys a better look I'll let you watch me dig this hole and then I will explain it a little bit closer up after okay so here is our official soil profile and what it looks like now I'm going to try to not stand in the sun as much as possible to show you what's going on here. But one thing that you will want to do before you actually assess the soil profile is you're going to want to clear the face of this soil off. And something that a soil scientist use typically is something called a hori hori knife. And I don't have one right now, <laughs> mostly because this is spur of the moment, but I do have the serrated edge of this shovel. And now while I'm not talented enough to both film and show you how to use this, all you're going to do is just cut the surface of the soil so you can see how flat this is and the purpose of that is to clear off any soil that may have ran down the slope which ultimately will disguise layers if there are layers there now this isn't deep enough this is only about two feet depth if you can go deeper that is better but what I'm hitting down here is a ton of rock and that is because we are on glacial till and this is very famous across the Great Plains it is a type of soil where the glaciers left deposits of sometimes rock sand calcareous materials all different sorts of things so that is what is happening here that is solid rock down there and i can actually well i can show you a rock i skimmed while i was digging but down here i don't know if you can hear that on the camera but that is solid rock now up here this top portion this whole thing is our profile including the grass on top and the grass on top is what we like to characterize as our organic material so our own horizon and this is a good indicator of how fertile your soil is or in some cases how old your soil is or how productive it may be and you can generally lift your O horizon up and over and it will be very very um, loose and it will not actually be part of this soil structure that you see here so the depth of this is going to determine how fertile your land is the deeper this O horizon is, the better. And this is just this real light, fluffy stuff. Now, if you have enough of this and you don't have a huge patch of grass, you could plant directly in this without tilling. Now, if you have weeds, you're going to have to till, but it's a good indicator of the fertility of your soil. If you have a garden that you've been doing no-till in a long time, for a long time, this is a good thing. Having this nice, light naturally occurring loose soil it's a 
it's a good thing. So people will try to tell you that it's not and that it's a sign of road tilling. This this land has not been rototilled in ever. It's it was an old cow pasture. So yeah. That's O Horizon. Now all you can see here, because this is a trinosemic soil, it's a grassland soil, is the A Horizon, which is very common. I mean, trinosemic soil, prairie soils will have very large A's and it's gonna be all the same color. Now, if you watched my video on forest soils, you saw a lot more layers in the soil and that will happen if you have a sandy soil, mostly because you have different rates of water loss, different rates of organic material accumulating. But this is a loam soil. I'll show you how to test that in another video. But this is a loamy soil on slightly clay side of things. And so it's retaining a lot of the organic material. It's retaining a lot of the nutrients. And it is a very fertile soil. You'll notice there's no reds in here. There's no grays in here. And that's a good sign. So that's showing us that the water is moving through the soil profile properly and healthy in a healthy manner. And therefore, this is a good soil. And this is what we want to see. Something of this color is a good indication of a healthy soil. We don't see any blotching. We don't see any streaking. The only streaking we do see is from my shovel strikes. Um, and that's actually just a moisture color. So if you drag your finger across, you'll see that it's just moisture. Now, you will also see things like uh, root holes or bug holes. So these are all decayed roots that have come and gone. And this is a sign of soil that has not been tilled because you obviously have that structure. You can see it's nice and firm. It's not caving in on itself which is a good sign of soil structure as well. So this is just a classic grassland soil. I will show you in the next video how to go about testing this for the soil type. So there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you identify your soils just a little bit better to give you a better idea what to work with. If you want reference to a sandy soil, be sure to check out my sandy soil profile video. It's very short, very quick. I simply found sandy soil on a hike and it just goes into detail as to why you don't see that deep dark black profile throughout the entire thing. Stay tuned for the next video. Be sure to grab that ebook if you want to test your soil at home and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!